Hello guys, hello guys. I wanted to show you how I got my RTX 2080 Founders Edition to be able to change from a blue logo, I mean a green logo, to be able to change my motherboard and my RAM and my water cooler's lights. Um, so what I did was I flashed it to an EVGA BIOS, an XE Ultra one. And as you can see right here, it shows up as this one, an X EVGA, R6 2080 XE Ultra, and it shows up in uh, EVGA Precision 1 2. I can change the fans, everything works. I show you guys that. If I do this, it goes up to full percent right here. And when I, if I change it down, back down, and I, and I press apply, it changes back down. So normally NVIDIA only lets you change the Founders Edition color to green. But what I did was I, I like I said, I flashed it with an EVGA XE Ultra BIOS to unlock performance and to unlock the RGB capabilities. So it's, I didn't realize that you could control it also when you do it, when you flash it with an EVGA BIOS, it makes it think that this is an RGB accessory. So look at this, it says fail, but it shows up as the graphics card with three fans, even though it doesn't have three fans, but it's showing up as a graphics card. But you see it's all being synced in Aurora Sync with my motherboard. It's an Asus ROG Z590E gaming Wi-Fi. So if I go to Aurora FX, right? Um, you see it's on static right now, on blue. But watch this, if I change this blue to, let's say, um, say red and then watch this there it goes and if i you see it's on red right now and then let's change it to to pink there it is and green oh wait there it is there's green like the stock one and then yellow and then um orange wait. there it is so also what you can do is you can change the rainbow effects, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I'm able to change my rainbow effects on my card, so it changes. You see, it's it's actually changing effects right now. And so let's see if I can just do this, and let's see what happens. So you see, it's actually changing right now, guys. So I, I gotta change the speed, but watch this. RGB logo on a GeForce RTX 2080 Founders Edition. I can't believe this. I can't believe I was able to flash it and get this, like, uh, unlock this performance. I'm really happy with this results. And if you guys want a tutorial on how to do this, I will show you guys. And I reapply the thermal paste on it too. Got it down to 29 degrees Celsius. I'm able to Change both fan RPMs from the Founders Edition since it thinks it's an EVGA BIOS with dual fans, just like the EVGA XE Ultra. So it basically thinks it's an EVGA RTX XE Ultra except for the cooler. But the the hardware part is, is um, what do you call it? Is, that, is the same basically, just for the flash BIOS. So as you can see here, I just want to show you guys again, GDR6, eight gigs of memory, Running at the full the full length right there, PCIe X16 3.0, and all the all the boost clocks and memory and GPU clocks a little bit higher than the Founders Edition too. So if I go to sensors, you can see everything's working fine. And when it says 300 megahertz right now, so since it's not under load, but when it gets under load, it, it goes right up and it does great. So I'm. I'm just amazed that NVIDIA locked this out and made this hidden. I followed some in tutorials online on how to do this. And I figured out, like, I was like, why isn't my graphics card's lights turning on? Um, so I was like, is it interfering with Aurora Sync? And then sure enough, when I went into Aurora Sync and I went to this little logo right here in the app and sync devices, and there's a newer device right here called um, it says it says fail, but it's actually working, and I'm and I'm just really amazed by this. And 
is changing and everything too right there so i i hope you guys like learn something from this and i'm really happy with this spread the word about that you can you're able to do this on on cards that are founders edition from the 20 from the 20 series so yeah thank you guys and have a great day bye